Greetings. This is Ace Magic AM18 Mini PC that was a lightning deal on Amazon. Did the research and found out this banging machine also comes with a bad rep. Quickly, the main specs are a Ryzen 7 7840HS, 8 core 16 thread CPU climbing up to 5.1 gigahertz with 32 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte NVMe SSD, and AMD Radeon 780M graphics. More details in the description below. Though it ships with Windows 11, rumor is that they are enterprise keys and can be difficult to authenticate. Even worse, there's a ghost in the machine. These mini rigs also have hidden bugs, malware, that does all sorts of malicious things, including getting a hold of your passwords and hijack, plus drain your accounts. Big yikes, no bueno. Shame, shame, shame. I know your name. Well, been reading through forums and watching YouTube videos, and the easiest solution is to wipe the drive and reload Windows 10 from an older unused machine onto the AM18. You can flash a USB drive directly from Microsoft website. After the clean reinstall is complete, use the old Windows 10 key to authenticate and soon Microsoft will send new updates stating your machine is Windows 11 ready and can complete the upgrade from there for free. Voila! However, if you don't have an extra Windows license key handy and don't want to pay for one, it's okay because you can flash any Linux operating system you want onto a USB and do a fresh install with a free operating system with no more CCP bugs. Originally this video was supposed to be a step by step, but sadly, portions of the video file came out corrupted and unusable, so I'll just go over the steps here. As previously mentioned, you'll need to flash your own OS of choice using a program called Etcher or Rufus. 
It's a real easy peasy process and can find tutorials on YouTube. Then insert flashed USB into the AM18. Press the power button and get into the BIOS. There are multiple ways of doing it. Ended up getting into the Windows Recovery blue screen. And the only option you need to select is reinstall with USB. The Ace Magic will recognize the USB. So as you proceed to the next screen, it'll be highlighted for you and all you have to do is select it and let the process begin. After a quick restart, you'll be given basic options. And once you get to the sector on how to proceed with install, you'll want to erase the drive completely, meaning you'll lose all the bad malware in the partition that was originally installed. From here, the video picks up after the missing footage. Hope this info helps as the prices are not bad for these rigs and to repurpose them any way you want. Not just for gaming, but for editing or a server if you want, even a media server. The operating system being used here is called Regatta because it's supposedly good for gaming and content creators. We'll see how it goes. Anyhow, that's it for me. Like, share, and sub as the YouTube algorithms here are brutal with this channel. Thank you in advance. Y'all stay well. Good luck with these machines. Ciao, friends.